To prepare for future development, microservice, we will create each project as a standalone Spring application. It's now time to set up our very first RESTful web service project. Open Spring Tool Suite 4. Click File, New, Other, and search for Spring Starter Project. Click Next. Now, you will notice that I already set the parameters for this project. You may change according to your preference. We can also change the working set. In my case, I set it to Terra Warehouse. Click Next. And then, in the Spring Starter Dependencies, we will choose H2 Database, REST Repositories, Spring Data, Lombok, Spring Boot Actuator, Heroas, REST Repositories, DevTools, and finally, the Spring Web Starter. Click Next, and then Finish. We will discuss their usage as we go along with the project. Let's wait for the dependencies to be downloaded. So here is our application. It contains the default Spring main class and the application properties. By default, the application will run on port 8080. Let's open it in the browser. Spring Boot app. And it's now running. Navigate to localhost 8080. This is where one of our dependencies kick in, the HAL browser, which lists the API for Spring Data. Next, we will take a look at the actuator, which is accessible by typing actuator. Hit go. It exposes a default set of APIs that provide the health information of the project. Let's try health. So, it contains a status which has a value of up. More APIs can be exposed by changing the security configuration in the application.properties file. Set the management that endpoints that web that exposure include equals asterisk. After changing the file, note that the Spring SDS will automatically update and redeploy the application. So we just need to refresh the page. The list of exposed APIs should now be updated and must contain cache, login, metrics, and so on. We can use these APIs to monitor our service.